Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to go over how to set the path in your do file. Uh, I know it's sometimes challenging to know exactly where you have located your file. So uh, in this uh, video I'm going to show you, it's not a trick but uh, a way to find out where is your path and then once you, what is your path and once you know it you can just keep repeating it in different uh, do files. So let's say you want to use the college distance data set but you really don't know what is the path. So in order to know that one of the ways that you can do is basically you can go to file and then you can go to import you can go to CSV and once you get the browse box you click on browse and you try to find your um, you try to find your file which is college distance so I have uh, I have it right here okay and then open and then okay and then this is exactly what we're looking for from here all the way up to this backslash this is your path all what you need to do is to copy and then in your do file you're going to paste it right here okay so this is assuming that you found the, the, the file that you have saved under a folder called Stata files which is under the folder documents which is under your user name under the big folder which is users okay so once you do that you are able to know what is your directory and then after that you're going to write the log file in which you're going to save your results this is you can name it whatever but this one is going to be saved under the same path in the same folder and this one is basically you're importing the data set this name has to be exactly the same way that this name is written under your folder if the C and the D of college distance are in capital then this one here has to be in capital so once you do that uh, just notice that this one has an extension DTA so you have use and then college distance dot DTA if you have it in uh, CSV then you're going to write here in sheet using and then you basically kind of copy this one and then make sure that this one has CSV you don't have to clear it right so and then you can have it this way okay so it's either or right so if you want to use it as DTA make sure that you have used before if you want to use it as CSV make sure that you have this command so I'm going just to turn this to green I don't want it to be executed by Stata I'm, I'm going to be using the DTA so once you know your path which as I said you know it from the import and then you were able to get this path up to here uh, and then you copy and paste it then you can just clear this one you don't want to run the do file and you get an error message that you already had the variables once you do that you can just go back here and um, start your do file by just going to the path and then you are going to create your log file right and then calling the Variables. so you have it all here okay so it's very important in setting your path to get it right of course this one will not be the same if I'm using a flash drive it's not going to be the same if I'm using audio apps but the good thing is you will be able to know the exact path uh, once you do like the import command as I said you go to file import and then you try to locate your file and then you click enter but make sure that you clear after that so that when you use the do file you won't get a message that you already have the variables in the memory so let's say you're going to create another do file uh, for another assignment let's say so you just go here and you copy this you go to a new do file and you paste it 
all what you need to change is simply the name of the log file, the results file. Let's say you're going to call it ABC, you call it anything, right? So the log file, you basically call it anything. But the data file has to be exactly the same name that you have it under your folder. Let's assume it's called ABC. Okay, so the important, the good thing about the do file is just you can copy, paste, and assuming you have the same path, you can just keep replicating, changing the names. I prefer to have the log and the do and the DTA files, and actually the the do file, the three have the same name. So anytime I'm trying to search for the ABC do file, I have its data set and I have its log file. Okay, so when I did. Uh, copy this part and I paste it into a new do file. I didn't change anything from here at all up to here. I did change the log name and I did change the DTA file or the data file name. That's it. All right, so if you have any question, please let me know.